Hi, Diane here again with another Flat Earth contribution. And uh, I want to start off by first thanking you, all of you who are making these wonderful videos and contributing to awareness. And so the first thing I want to tell you about is an incident that happened at work. I was actually a po reported for saying that the Earth was flat. Yes, I was reported. And how the story goes, um, I work for a specialty food market and I've been there for many years, like 12 years. And in the most recent years, uh, I'm an artist. And in the most recent years, they've changed my role from artist to everything person. So on, so on occasion, more often than I'd like, they have me on a cash register. And so I, I had a customer who somehow, um, uh, well, we got, we got talking about something, probably, I think it was about the chip, because now we have to use the chip with our credit cards. It's, you know, the, the transaction is done with the chip now instead of swiping your card. And the, I guess the conversation progressed, and somehow I mentioned that I believe the flat earth and <laughs> that happened. So she went straight to the um, uh, the desk manager management um, desk and reported me. And I was just told this the other day, and I was like, "Wow! If I were in Salem, Massachusetts, <laughs> I would have been accused of being a witch." You know, back in the 16, 17, 1800s. And um, so I thought this was just really bizarre. Like somebody actually reported my belief. Okay, so moving on, talking about the flat earth, I want to get back to this stuff because, you know, I know how the flat earth topic expands to, you know, other questions like the sun, you know, how far away is the sun, the moon, you know, what is the moon? exactly satellites are there satellites are they hoaxes uh, Antarctica you know it's just you know a myriad of topics we can get into but this is where it brings me right now and you know the uh, the uh, the idea that everything we taught is not true necessarily and so I told you I studied astronomy, right? Well, I just went and got through this book, basically, uh, memorization. You know, I do very well. I love science. And um, we're in memorization mode. And we accept, you know, all the stuff that we're taught about basically anything. So I thought about um, Uranus. Yes. I wanted to, I thought about how does the sun reach Uranus? So, um, Uranus is, believe it or not, can be seen with the naked eye. Yes, it can. And uh, so we think of other planets that can be seen with the naked eye, which are Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. But Uranus can be seen with the naked eye too. So uh, Uranus is about 19 times farther away from the sun than we are. And have you ever looked at the sun? I mean, I have. I've looked at the sun when it's overhead, not for a very long time. It's just like a split second, you know, you just go like that. But you can, you know that there's all this rays going out, but you can tell that there's a shape in there. If it's, you know, a split second, you can see it. That sun is tiny. I mean, it's tiny. And uh, so I'm thinking to myself, wow, hmm, what does the sun look like from Uranus? Uh, it's got to be a speck, if anything. And how does the sun light up Uranus? That's another question. Yeah, but we're told it is because we're told that Uranus is blue. 
because it absorbs the red light from the sun and reflects back the blue. Now, this is astonishing to me. Just this, this, this one little thing is astonishing. So, I don't believe that the sun is lighting up Uranus. And uh, so this makes me think, well, everything, you know, like everything else, you know, we're, it's just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're doing. I don't understand. I um, mean, if you know anything about Uranus, let me know. Um, okay, so there's one other thing I wanted to talk about, and that was telescopes. Um, someone asked me about uh, Flat Earth. Uh, I make comments on videos, and they're usually just, you know, most of the time, they're, yeah, good video, thank you very much, you know, on a Flat Earth video, but, you know, they'll kind of like sh swoop down on me, the, the people that believe in the globe, and the, you know, heliocentric model, and they'll ask me questions, and uh, one question was, well, if you can't see a curvature, if there's no curvature, why can't I see with my telescope from the shore of Texas to the shore of Florida? And But I can see the ISS and I can see Saturn, the rings on Saturn. And my first thought was, um, well, how far does this telescope see? I mean, you already see Saturn. It's just a magnification. and. And then the ISS, well, I, I don't know how to deal with that because, you know, it's, I think it's 200 and something miles away, 240 something miles away. You know, that, you know, probably could see with your telescope if there's an ISS, I don't know. So, but I thought, well, a thousand miles, that's, that's quite a distance to expect to see. So, if there's anyone out there that knows anything about telescopes and how far, what their range is, I know, you know, it's about matter of magnification, but would you be able to see a thousand miles away? Now, we're usually pointing them to the, the sky, so we think that we can see millions of miles away. But if we point it on Earth, there's no, no longer that million miles away thing. So, that's my question. I mean, I was satisfied with my answer. You know, you basically probably can't see a thousand miles with a telescope. Your telescope, mister. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Thank you again for your wonderful videos that you make and creating awareness. I appreciate it all. Okay, I'm going to get dancing now. Thank you. Bye.